Hey YouTube, some underneath my truck, the dealership was telling me it was leaking oil and I said I'd take care of it myself. It's leaking up there on the oil filter and the oil plug and then on the starter up here. That's not good. That starter's got corrosion on there. <sighs> leaking somewhere up there. I think it's the oil pan. It looks like the oil pan seal or rear engine main seal it must be how it's the way it looks. It must be what that is. Here's the rotor and the kelpers there. And kelpers, boy, they're heavy duty, aren't they? Yeah, they'll have to be replaced eventually too in the front. <clears throat> not gonna worry about that now but uh I see you know, what why it's leaking oil the filters on tight I have to add oil once in a while I don't see it dripping on the ground here it, I think it does burn oil the Chevy does a little bit it well it's leaking here but it's not enough I don't understand that when it's running it's not dripping either it has to be burning some oil <laughs> I think it burns some oil. I know they said I don't. I never knew this before, but people on the internet on carcomplaints.com said the newer Avalanche. I don't know about these, but the five threes burn oil like crazy. I guess they didn't even know they did. I've never had a five three burn oil. I guess as far as I know, but knowing that this has like two hundred twelve thousand miles, uh, probably will burn oil. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. I mean, you can't. It's got a little bit of a lifter noise, so it's possible it does burn a little oil. Here's the manifold up there. It's possible. I mean, it can't be just perfect. You know, if it burns a little oil, I guess that's not bad compared to some, you know. You know, it's not going to, nothing ever lasts forever. I'm just looking it over here. It looks pretty rusty under here. The frame looks good, but the torsion bars here don't look too good. Not really. Another torsion bar looks pretty good. Sensory case is good, no? You can tell it's a transfer case because the front axle works good now. Yeah, I don't like that leaking on that starter. That's pissing me off. Because that's what's going to happen. That white power stroke could happen the same thing as it's going to same thing is going to happen here. Or it could start on fire if the solenoid sparks or something. Oh, that's easy to get that starter out. Just two bolts. Look at that. Well, I can change that myself if the starter goes out. Well, I'm sure it will. You know, and that'll be the next thing that'll go out. And then the alternator. And then the spark plugs. And you know how anything is and when it gets old, you know. But that oil leaking, I don't understand that. It's pissing me off. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's not running to that transmission there. See, it's running down here to the transmission. I hope it's not leaking in the housing because that wouldn't be very good. Yeah, that would not be very good. I better check that, take that inspection plate out. <laughs> And look in there probably. Alright guys, it's gonna make a video underneath my truck. Um I hope I mean I'm you know see how rusty and crow or red it is in there. See that there? It's because the brakes have gotten hot at one time. Hmm. Interesting. Well anyway, I'm going to uh inspect it here because I'm bored I have no internet and uh, so I'll upload this later thanks for watching guys <laughs>